Welcome to another episode of 100% Fresh with Two Chef Mission. We are Two Chef Mission, and today we are talking about balancing parents, like balancing being parents <laughs> and being business owners. I was like, we're balancing parents. Yes, we're balancing parents on little stools oh and little God. plates. I was like, where is that going? So, yes, so we're going to give some tips on balancing being parents as well as business owners yes. and kind of talking a little bit how we have had to do that because yeah. we were already business owners but then we became parents and now we're parents of three so yeah. we've definitely had to adjust oh yeah and i mean at the end of the day we of course love our kids we love <laughs> our business we love what we're doing with our yeah, business like, and it was like i feel like we're lucky in that we that we love really... doing what we do yeah and can do that around also having a family yeah i think that's a really good thing mm-hmm. and i i feel like one of the big benefits of what we do is the fact that it's also teaching our kids mm-hmm. how to do it when they get older yes and of course we're going to teach them as we as they grow up and mm-hmm. as they get older and whatnot well because they're already getting become... interested in mm-hmm. meal like meals and cooking and being yeah. in the kitchen and oh, yeah. seeing what we're doing. So it's really cool to get to see that at such a young age with yeah. with them being so little. Right. So but, what do you think is part of the big part that kind of attributes to that? Attributes to... Them being interested in the kitchen. Well, they're seeing... the. I feel like inherently children are interested in what they're seeing being done. So like... If they're seeing their parents on a cell phone, yeah, they're interested in what's on the cell phone. So for us, if they're seeing us in the kitchen cooking and doing all the different things, they're yeah. like, what are you doing? I'm interested. I just want to hang out and see what you're doing and be involved because they just want to be involved. They want to they want to be in your business, which is fine Yeah, because they're kids and they're They're growing. They're, they're learning. They're learning how the world works. Mm-hmm. And it's really cool. Because when there's so many kids that are just interested in cell phones, tablets, whatever, TV, I mean, our kids, yes, they they like their shows and stuff, but they're also interested in getting to read and getting to do crafts and playing and getting us to play with them and, yeah. and interested in what we're doing in the kitchen and cooking and stuff. Yeah. So it's... It's really cool. Yeah, it's really <laughs> so, cool. I love that. You know, little added bonus tip of not anything to do with this, <laughs> but if you're wanting your kids to get interested in different activities, do them with them. Yeah. Because that's a big one. Yeah. Unless your kids are in that like, I guess that teenage stage where they're like, "Oh, you're no longer cool," yeah. then it's a little bit different. But when they're younger, like. They're interested in what you're doing anyways. So I would say that our first tip for balancing is to really figure out a schedule. Yeah. Which I know has definitely been a challenge for us. Mm -hmm. And I think that we're still in the stage of figuring out the right schedule. Right. Because our kids are, they're all in those different milestone stages of like age and getting into school so with being in preschool for Wyatt and and then Elias who's wanting to get into mm -hmm. school but of course he's in that potty stage phase (laughs) like he's in that potty learning potty training training, that's it um (laughs) yeah exactly you got there you got there got there eventually but but yeah so right now with them being in these different stages it's it has been a challenge with us trying to figure out the schedule, but we have a general schedule in place that we follow. Yeah, I was about to say, I think the, so, the schedule that we have currently right now is actually working pretty well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like probably the, the biggest difficulty that we would face is realistically their their sleep patterns and getting them either down yes. for bed or well, getting them up and ready for the day. It's also that weird stage where, for us right now is that <laughs> weirdly, fingers crossed, right? <laughs> the last like week or so, they've both been really good at like sleeping yeah. and staying asleep. But then, then it'll be like two weeks later and they're like, 
we're both going to wake up or one of us is going to wake up every night and stuff. So it's that, yeah. it's that interesting stage. Yeah. <laughs> but we have a general schedule that we follow mm-hmm. where for us, luckily, being our own business own owners and running our own business, one of us is always able to mostly be with them and we switch off and we can figure out who's doing what task and stuff. So that's right. been helpful and we've sort of had some help along the way yeah which i would definitely say is a benefit so figuring out a schedule is definitely going to help even if it's one that shifts weekly like maybe some weeks it's this other weeks it's different it's going to depend on how busy i mean it's like what we talk about with meal planning it's yeah. it's going to be about it's that ever, flexibility of ever growing you have ever changing. you have certain things that are very structured so like those would probably be um which some of these we're going to talk about it's like waking up of course your meals and stuff yeah. and then like certain routines exactly but but you can also have the flexibility of like okay well this is going to be a busier week so we have to change things and one thing that we have also implemented within our schedule is for right now with with Wyatt having Wednesdays off is yeah. we have more of a family day on Wednesdays so we have a very set day of this is where we'll go and do something yeah and usually it's something either local or uh, you know, well, if we have local. the opportunity, yeah, well, all of it's really <laughs> it's local. local, but, um, we, we try to, you know, figure out something that's really fun and enjoyable for the kids. Mm-hmm. Um, something that'll get their attention mm-hmm. and of course, not only just keep them occupied in the sense that they're going to be out seeing something mm-hmm. different, something, you know, not there every day, it ends up being a really nice day and a really great time mm-hmm to decompress and really just connect as family yes and i think that's the best part about it and of course like throughout every other day like there's times that we are obviously with our children yeah which is all the time yeah but it's like this is very a very focused day where we get to do stuff with them and have fun and go exploring and immerse into the local scene Pain, yeah. and finding something new and exciting. Mm-hmm. So if you don't have a family day, it could be more of a weekend thing, yeah. right? But implementing that is a great way. One, it's a great way to connect with your family and also um, most likely as they get older, your kids are still going to want to do it because it's so embedded into Their your routine, routine that it's yeah. like it's a ritual basically. Exactly. So the next thing that we have implemented is boundaries. Mm -hmm. Um, And by that we mean that for orders or for deliveries or for different events, we don't accept them on specific days or after a certain time. Yeah, and you're even before a certain or time. Or before a certain time, Because yes. we've had, uh, you know, some requests that came through the pipeline and they're requesting like 5 some ridiculous times. Like 5 a.m. was one of them. I know there was one that we made an exception for. Yes, and it was but that was like very specific. Way early yes. in the morning. But the thing is, is like we have a very set boundary of time of like, okay, one, I'm not going to accept. We don't accept calls every day we don't accept um like we said we don't accept orders before a certain time and after a certain time because we have set those times as like okay well this is when we're doing morning routine with our kids this is when we're having dinner and we're doing bedtime and stuff we're not going to um we're not going to break those boundaries and we're going to respect that time mm-hmm. that we have set up in place so we can have you know that routine like you said and and we've done that with specific holidays yeah and that's something that is ingrained in our business because it's very much that for instance right thanksgiving is a very important holiday for us yeah and really therefore i'm not going to work on it 
And I'm not going to expect any expect anyone else that ever works for us to work on Thanksgiving because it no. should be off. Yeah. You should be with family or friends and wh- however you celebrate is how you celebrate it. Exactly. But having those boundaries in place helps give you that balance. Yeah. And I think that's a really good point to, to make because if you're not willing to set up the boundaries and have these hard set lines where mm-hmm. you will not cross them for, you know, other individuals or, you know, even if you're a business owner, you know, orders or, or clients or guests, however you view them, then it's going to be really difficult to make sure that you have that time set aside mm-hmm. with your family. Yeah. Well, and it's important for us because if we are always just putting our family on the back burners, our kids are going to see that. Yeah, and, they're, and it's so, going to affect them. Yeah, and we can still clearly run a business within the facets of what works. Yeah. Because we have proved, proven that. We definitely have. So, setting boundaries. And the next one is having a routine that you're following. So, it's similar to a schedule, but, like, have your meals together. Yeah. Have a routine of certain things that are always in the day for your family. That are consistent and persistent. Mm -hmm. So, that way, the family, you know, you as an individual will understand and know that this is what's going to happen mm-hmm. around this time. Yeah. Like, so, for dinner time, for us, mm-hmm. we're constantly making sure, okay, it's getting to that time. We need to make sure that not only is dinner ready and on the table, uh, the boys will take a bath afterward most days. Mm-hmm. Um, and then after that, maybe bedtime we read routine. a book, yeah. bedtime routine, get them ready to relax and lay down. Mm-hmm. And it's just like in the mornings with breakfast, getting mm-hmm. ready for school or getting ready for the day. Right. And then having those specific times for a daily routine so that it like it's a routine, but it also becomes like a ritual. Yeah. Where it's and... like it's always going to happen. And then your kids get so used to it, which is where you can actually get on a routine yeah <laughs> because when that clearly it happens eventually yeah <laughs> it's like i don't think Scar- i wouldn't say Scar- scarlet's sort of on a routine but not yeah. amazingly no she's kind no, of on no, her own little yeah she's just in kind routine. of her own little world but, but it gets there and i feel like so if you have if you're in the newborn stage of being a parent it gets better it does it it also gets harder. Yeah. <laughs> but it's always a new, it's a new hard, right? Yeah. But try to, and we say meals in here as like having a meal routine. Also for the fact that like that is a set time where you're all sharing a meal where you can share memories and enjoy a meal together and basically spend time together connecting over what happened in the day and sometimes when as as our kids get older like yeah. that's going to be some of the biggest parts of the days because they're at school the rest of the time not just that or at activities. Already, i was like they're already talking about wanting to get into different sports mm-hmm. they already want to join different programs mm-hmm. and of course these are their choices and we want to honor that and support that with them and it's understanding that that will be a new routine mm-hmm. and a new and- daily schedule yeah so like having those times where you have a meal with your family is sometimes the biggest part of the day yeah when you're getting to spend time with with your family as a family yeah absolutely And so it's definitely worth it to set it aside now so that it's there right and consistently it's honoring, and it's honoring that time and, and mm-hmm. making sure that you stick to it and our final <laughs> it's really funny because I definitely I have a note right of mm-hmm. time off which scheduling time off but in my brain <laughs> I'm also saying like scheduling time off as in like you're done for the day 
Right. Right. So you're you're saying. So like, I was okay, like, but in my head, and... I was like, oh my gosh, it's so true. Scheduling time off for like time off. Right. Because okay, so big example of this when we first started getting really, really busy, right? Oh man, we were really bad. At really busy. Really bad. I didn't schedule days off. No. I we worked every day. We were and we still seven days and a we week. still work most days, right? But it's a different but type like, of work. But it was like we had orders every day, yeah. every day, and it was like, most. oh my goodness burnout and it wasn't just orders it was like multiple multiple orders yes, multiple it was deliveries so much. and we were like sometimes twice a day having to go out for deliveries because there mm-hmm. were certain guests and clients that wanted it mm-hmm. in the beginning of the day some that were yeah. prepared at the end of the so day we were running ourselves ragged with like all of these orders and mm-hmm. it was like oh my gosh i didn't i didn't take time off and so then we were just always working yeah and i and feel so, like that was a really hard stage not only mm-hmm. in our development as business owners and mm-hmm. parents and of course as a couple yeah but the understanding of it and seeing how effective making sure that you take time off yeah. of work be it at the end of the day shutting off saying okay you know, it's, yeah, six it's o'clock, both. five o'clock, seven o'clock, whatever time it is for you that you would prefer to set it. This is my heart set stop mm-hmm. time. I'm done for the day. I'm going to go ahead and shut down work and I'm going to step away and yeah. create some sort of physical boundary. Yeah. And this is something that and we've we, heard time and time again. Yes. But it's, and it's funny because like I, I thought I was thinking of it one way when I wrote it, but it was like, oh my gosh, it's both. It's oh, yeah. both. Because, and we had issues with it for, for okay, we, I really had issues with with being able to be like, okay, I'm done. We're done with work. Yeah. Right. And we still, it's still hard sometimes because there's always so much to be done yeah. when you have your own business. Right. Um, but the, and that's why like this list and what we're talking about, we've had to deal with all of it and basically screw ourselves over through all of it and yeah. that's why we're like these are some we, really helpful tools to mm-hmm. set in place because we've had to trial and error through all of it we've had our own struggles our own differences difference of opinions our mm-hmm. own um issues around all of this mm-hmm. and suffice it to say that this is you know a, a pretty simple list and you think about it Mm -hmm. as you hear it or as you're seeing us on the podcast talking about it and thinking oh well you know all of that makes sense yeah of course Mm -hmm. I would do that but when you're in the middle of it and when you're really like head down getting through the trench of what your business is and wanting it to expand and grow as big as you know the vision that you have as a parent, especially for your kids and for the rest of what those around you that you want to support, it really comes down to, yeah, it might, it might sound simple. It might sound like, oh yeah, this is something I'm going to do regardless. But when you really think about it, you got to really focus on making sure that these things are taken care of. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you're taking that time to schedule it, that you're taking the family time together, Mm -hmm. especially as parents. Yeah. I think it's like as a business owner, of course, you are going to you're going to sacrifice time in different places. Yes. Right. So so and your family, you're going to sacrifice time within that Absolutely. Of, of not getting to do everything with family. But that's why putting these in place gives you those specific times with your family. So you're saying like, I might not be able to have breakfast with like so we both won't be able to have breakfast necessarily with our kids or take them both to to school both of us going but one of us can work and one of us can be there because we've put in place that one of us will always be able to be with move things around and and, yes so and of course it necessarily won't work for everyone but setting up a structure around it so that you have certain times and certain boundaries in place of okay no this is important then that's why we say to do it because as a business owner you can easily just 
tunnel vision and just keep going but you're also leading yourself to burn out yeah and i feel like you know that's the perfect example of saying you're leading yourself to burn out by getting in that tunnel vision and that super deep focus Mm -hmm. of what you want the business to be and what you know the business can be Mm -hmm. and how it can not only be a source of help for others around the world or around wherever you are but at the end of the day that could also become a huge driving wedge between you and your family right and like sometimes tunnel vision is necessary but that's more for like i'm focusing on okay so for us we're focusing on helping teach about meal planning yeah and and then it's like oh i this idea of like food truck and you're like okay but this is where i'm focusing right now right and then so that's the tunnel vision that you want is the okay this is what i'm doing right now yeah this is my path but focusing fully on that and totally losing time with your family and your loved ones and things like that that is not what it's about because the idea of creating a business in general is also creating something that is scheduled around your life and with it in mind so completely forgetting about that aspect is really not what it's about right i think those are really good examples Mm -hmm. and really good points to make too so let's do a little recap of our top five tips of balancing being parents and business owners I think these are really good tips. I think these are really good points. So we're going to go ahead and start with number one, with making sure that you have a schedule set in place. Mm-hmm. And number two is set a family day, whether it's during the week or on the weekend. Mm-hmm. Or depending on your schedule, if it gets really crazy or if your kids have super big schedules, it right. could be every other week or it just, just has something. Just have something set in place. So that leads perfectly into number three, which is boundaries. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you have these hard set boundaries in place because at the end of the day, these boundaries are going to be able to make sure that what you want in your life Mm -hmm. between your balance of work, uh, being an owner of a business or work and your family are really, really there. Mm -hmm. Which then leads to number four, which is have a meal routine or just a routine in general. Yeah. Because as our kids get older, meal time is going to be some of the biggest time that you are together. And by that, we specifically mean dinner. Yeah. And then that lastly leads into make sure that you are doing this. Number five, taking time off. And that means that's kind time of a twofer. off. Yeah, it was like time off, whether that's days off, vacation. Yep time off with your family or and well not or and what time are you done for the day yeah because those are really big points to make and of course that also ties in perfectly with everything that we've talked about throughout this podcast Mm -hmm. episode but it really becomes really prevalent and it becomes necessary to have that time off so that way you don't burn out Mm -hmm. so that way you can be the owner and create the business that you want it to be Mm -hmm. and uh, another little bonus tip actually put some of these into place because if you don't schedule it it's never going to happen yeah it's just like um with if if you don't so with putting things out in the universe right yeah the aspect of saying like Oh, I want to reach this goal. Okay, well, I put it in the universe. Okay, I'm not going to do anything with it anymore. You're not going to do, you're not going to get there. But if you actually put it into play in action, you're doing something about it and therefore implementing it and it happens. So if this is important, the balance, Mm -hmm. put it into your schedule. Right. And I was going to say a perfect example of you saying, you know, I want this goal and I'm going to put it out in the universe or I'm going to pray about it and put out put it out there. Um, if 
like you said, if you don't put it down, if you don't have it written down somewhere, well, it's not, not even just written it down. It's the action. Yeah. To do it, it's just an arbitrary goal that's never going to be realized. It's just a statement. Yeah. It's like I can say, I love pizza. <laughs> if I don't go out and buy a pizza to eat it, am I really saying I love pizza or am well, I just you are making saying, a statement? But it's just, yeah. But, but is it true or is it just a statement? Like, yeah. that's really but what it boils down to. We hope you find some of these tips super helpful and we hope you implement some of them so that you can have some more balance. Yeah. Until next time, make sure to keep it 100% fresh. <laughs>